Capricorn, welcome. It's Jeff here at Raise Your Vibration TV, and that means one thing. You're watching your weekly tarot reading. Yes, welcome. And this is going to be for January 22nd all the way to the 28th. We're finishing out January. I hope the month has been good for you. A lot of Capricorns watch their videos on here. I really appreciate that, of course. I feel the love from the horny goat. I guess, or the sea goat, whatever that is. But you guys know who you are. King of the mountain. God damn it. Slow and steady wins the race. All right, Capricorn, we are going to go over the energies for the week. We got a lot of energetic shifts going on here, and we're going to be talking about them. First of all, as I record this, Pluto is moving into Aquarius, and it hasn't been there since, well, the American Revolution, 1776. So this is a very volatile and revolutionary time. Pay attention to the news, folks. It's about to get funky. But how is it going to affect you? We also have a full moon in Leo. Things coming to light in dramatic ways. You know, this could be about our romance, our love life, our what we love to do, our joy, our pleasures. You know, Leo's all about having fun. Anyone that knows me, I'm a Leo. I'm just a fucking bag of joy, ain't I? You know? <laughs> All right, let's see what we got for, uh, yeah. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh, boy, I'm telling you, y'all, this is good energy. All right. Okay, we've got the Six of Cups, the Four of Swords, the Two of Swords, the Eight of Wands, the Strength card. Remember, I was talking about strength. And the Six of Wands, that's that Leo energy right there. That's that full moon energy. Oh, boy. I'm going to tell you something right now, Capricorn, and you heard it here first. There is some excellent energy coming around the full moon. Let's start from the beginning. First of all, you are healing. You are resting from something in the past that has made you very indecisive. And, you know, I said in an earlier reading, I'm just like, you know, the two of swords is that stalemate energy. It's feeling stuck. And you see those crows, they're, they're pulling at her hair. They're like interfering with her thoughts. And all she's got to do is take the fucking blindfold off. It is a choice. This is a mindset. This is not the situation. And when you realize that this week, when you unstuck yourself, everything starts to move. Communication comes in. And then this full moon happens. And holy shit, the game changes. Six of Wands is claiming victory, success, self-confidence. You know, let's clarify. That's powerful energy. Every earth sign is going through a powerful transformation. And to tell you the truth, I, you know, after doing fire signs also, that is on their readings too, is this energy of change, of different perspective. And Pluto is all about seeing things as, ooh, as they really are. I don't know. I almost feel like I have to Except this card that fell on the floor. Okay, so that fell on the floor. We'll take a look at that later. Let's do this. Let's get some clarifiers on what's going on for Capricorn. What else do we need to know for Capricorn, please? The bottom of the deck, two of swords. Bitch, take the blindfold off. Really. Stop, stop, stop. Put one of those goddamn swords down and take the blindfold off. And look at it, it focuses on the moon. I'm telling you, the full moon is going to be very good for you. Now, before we look at any other clarifiers, they wanted to show you this. The seven of wands. You have to pay attention to that. This is drawing your line in the sand. Are you going to let these indecisions fuck with your head? I don't think so. I think you are, oh, look at that. The one that fell on the floor is the six of wands. You can't make this shit up. That's clarifying this energy. Claim victory. You are strong enough and deserve it. Temperance is divine timing here. Use your intuition. We also have the high priestess. You know, that temperance, her feet are in the water. That's symbolic of her trusting her intuition and letting it guide you. Three of wands is showing that this moment you've been waiting for. And it's going to come in spades. 
Damn. Stop fighting it. Stop resisting this energy. Keep yourself away from negative energy, negative people. I'm going to tell you something. When you start shining, oh boy, nobody wants to put on shades. They just want to block you out. You know what I mean? And that's the reality. Sometimes your closest friends, and I'm not saying all of them, but you know who they are. They love misery and they don't want to see you succeed, you know, and you may be feeling at a stalemate with some of them because they don't, they're not jiving with what you want to do too fucking bad. You know what I mean? It's your life. That's why you got to keep grounded and keep a firm foundation this week. You've got to, again, this goes along with the four of swords is the hermit card. It's like, Trusting your intuition, your inner guidance system. How is this guiding you? This will bring you closer to what you want. It's all about having a firm foundation, you know, because if you're in this shaky attitude, you're not going to experience this and you really need to. So you got to start balancing things out. And that's when things will balance out. When you draw your line in the sand, you take the blindfold off and then prosperity begins. That's the ace of pentacles. Some of you might be getting recognition at a job. I just see recognition. I see things, a reward coming here for you. Payoff, good vibes, all of that happy stuff for you, Capricorn. Now, let's do some psychic tarot of the heart. That will segue into the love portion of the reading and see what it adds to the energy for the week. Let's see what we got for Capricorn throat chakra. Speak your truth. Speak it into existence. Instead of sitting there mumbling, oh, I don't know what to do. Speak it into existence. Look at that. Look at that. Speak your truth this week. See that blue energy in your throat center, right where your Adam's apple is, you know? And release any blockages there. See that blue energy surrounding that area. See that chakra opening and closing like a beautiful little lotus, you know, and opening up and speaking your truth. Open up. <laughs> you can't make this up, man. Open up. This week you have to open up and you can do that by speaking your truth and taking the lead. Definitely taking the lead. Pay attention to 444, four, four, okay? That's harmony, balance, success, and reward. That's excellent energy, especially when it comes to relationships. It's opening up. It's speaking your truth. It's, it's using your inner wisdom. I mean, Capricorn, this is a powerful spiritual moment in your life. Use it. That's why we do these readings is to give you some insight on these energies that are available. And I'm telling you, it, it, it's, it's going to change your life. It's going to really change your life. And it's going to bring you the success and the love that you deserve. And, you know, that's another thing. Maybe you're stuck in the energy of, I don't deserve this. Yeah, we're getting, we're letting go of past hurts. That three of swords, I hate seeing that, but... That's probably what's got you indecisive, but we're going to heal that, okay? We're going to trust our intuition. We're going to take a break from things. We're going to use our strength in our relationships. That's the, the Leo card. Again, pay attention to that. Pay attention. It's your inner strength. It's your confidence. I deserve this. Page of Cups, there's an offer coming. As soon as you speak your truth, you may be making the offer also. Open up. Take the lead, you know, claim victory, claim what is yours, Capricorn, take it, take it, baby, it's yours. All right, let's get some romance angels. Let's see what they got to say. Wow, look at that. Now pay attention to this healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. That is on the bill for a lot of you. So pay attention to that. Do you harbor any ill will, anything like that? Are you still hurt? That's making you stuck, especially when it comes to relationships. What do you need to do? Free yourself. It's time to take control back of your life. Lead. That's right, Capricorn. Remember, you're the boss, Applesauce. Express your love. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture. Uh-oh, you, you can't make this up. Some of you got to make that move. Some of you have to claim that victory. Ooh, the plot thickens. That's excellent. Good for you. 
It's all about strength. That number eight. Oh, pay attention to 888. Look at that, 888. Thank you, Spirit, for showing me that. But what they really wanted me to say is that 2024 distills down to eight. I'm going to put that 2024 numerology video up so you can see that this year is all about strength and determination, having fun. If it doesn't bring you joy, let it go, you know, and claiming what is yours, taking the lead. All right, we got closing messages for Capricorn. Detach. You're being asked to detach from something that you've been holding on to. When we hold on too tightly to the desired outcome, Capricorn, it restricts your flow. Trust that the outcome will work out and let go of your attachment to it. That's healing issues, family issues, anything like that. Detach from it. Grounding. You're being asked to ground yourself. You're, you've been spending too much time in your head, obviously, and it's time to pay attention to your body and to the earth. Go outside, plant your feet on the ground, and enjoy the centering feeling it brings. That will start to bring things more into alignment. Ask for help. Capricorn, you're being asked to request help from another. You don't need to deal with this issue alone. There are many people who want to help you, but it's up to you to bravely ask for support. It's a sign of strength to reach out. Do that today. Damn, Capricorn, you aced that. Let's deal with these issues. Let's let those go. 2024 is the year of your strength. Claim that shit and take the lead. But it, 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 it's determined for you to go within. You know, ask your guides for help. They're just chain smoking in the break room. Give them something to fucking do. You know what I mean? That's their job. Their, their job is not to sit there and roll their eyes at every bad decision you make. It's for you to ask for their assistance and they step in. It works. So detach from the situation. Ground yourself. Ask your guides for help and pull out that inner strength and speak your fucking truth and make the offer because it's all about victory for you, Capricorn. All right, that's going to do it for the week. Pay attention because in February, I got some big announcements to make. <sighs> I'd love to tell you, but I can't right now. But pay attention to that. Capricorn, thank you so much, and I will see you next week.